Okay, welcome back. Let's continue learning our form. Now we want to learn what we call radio button, which is what we normally use for something like gender, or when you actually want to choose just an option from many options. So that is what we use this for. We normally use that one for gender. So let's have our label. Let's have, let's have our label for gender. Then inside here we say for uh, for what gender, right? So for gender. Okay. So now let's put it here. Gender. Then colon. Hmm? Now we have gender here. Okay. So now let's go to input. Uh, you know when you want to fill forms that has to do with male or female, usually we used to see a male and there will be something we can click in front of it. So that is what we call radio button. So that radio button will be for input. We use input element for radio button. But for the male that we want to appear, we want that male to appear. We use label for it too. So that means we're going to have another label. So under label now, then inside this one now, we say for this one, I be for male. And we write male here. Okay. Aha, you have this. Then we go to input where we're going to have what we want to click now. So let's detail our input. So inside input, what's the first thing we normally have? We have type. So this time in front of our type, we put radio, not text, because this is not coming as text. We put radio. Okay. So after type, we go to ID. So what will our ID be? I want to believe you should know by now. It must be the same with our for which is male. And what are that thing again? So the name. So we can still name in gender or so. so name. Okay. Well, let's do that refresh now. Okay, fine. Can you see? I've picked it. So it is that beautiful. Okay, let's have that of female now. So we start our one too with label. And we close it. So inside our label, we have it for female now. Okay. Then we put what here? Female. Okay, so now let's go to input. Then we close it and inside our input we have type. Then we choose radio. And after after type that we have chosen radio, we have our ID. Then we choose female now. Because we chose female for our So all these are necessary, all these things we are putting here. Now you, you may be thinking like after without all these things, the radio will show. So why putting them? They'll be useful by the time we start learning CSS and by the time we start learning um JavaScript. So there is a way we can indicate them inside JavaScript to know what we're actually talking about. So radio female, that's our ID, the name. So we use gender. Okay. So wow. Beautiful. So now if you have male, you click on male. If you have female, you see immediately you click on female, male will be unclicked. Immediately you click on this, so this will be unclicked. So it is that. So you can choose the two at a time. Alright, thank you. See you in the next class.